Hey guys, it's Daniel here, CrossFit Simplicity. I'm shooting for Monday. Um, let me try to get my bench straight. The 18th, Monday the 18th. Um, so we're starting the week off again, hoping that this is gonna be our last week, kind of in quarantine, our last full week. Um, fingers crossed for phase two, so we should know more pretty soon. Um, but I know you guys are itching to get back in here. Been talking to some of you guys, and um, it's been going really well. It's been great to kind of catch up. Um, please, again, feel free to reach out to us. Um, love to hear how you guys are doing. Um, so let's jump into this. We have possible EMOM question mark, right? So it's read as a question as like possible EMOM. Is this EMOM possible? For some people, it will be. For some people, not. And then you're going to see as we do these, and these are all retests. We've done these before. Um, that some of these are in your wheelhouse, and just because you might not have been able to do the possible EMOM from last Monday doesn't mean you might not be able to do this one if this is kind of more in your wheelhouse. So this is an interesting one. This is one that, again, is a little bit ridiculous to write up as it's prescribed because, like, who's got a rope at home, right? Nobody's going to really be able to do this with the rope like we did, um, you know, let's say last year when we actually hit this for the first time. But we'll always kind of write it up as prescribed in the crazy off chance that you have access to a rope. And then we'll talk about some minimal gear options and some body options. So, possible EMOM, who knows, depends on your level of fitness, 20 minute EMOM, minute one is 10 back squats, 135.95. So really simple there. Again, remember this is kind of prescribed for that ideal RX athlete. They would be able to put that bar on their back and rock and roll 10 unbroken every time. Right, if 10 back squats at 135 is gonna be something that you're gonna to have to break, then this is definitely not the way for you, right? You already know it's gonna kind of be an impossible EMOM. So make sure you scale that down to something that you can put on your back confidently, rep out 10 reps in 20 to 30 seconds every single round, right? You wanna be staying moving, should not be a heavy weight. We do have a RX Plus option, 155, 105. Maybe, obviously, you don't have a rope at home, but you're going for strict pull-ups. Maybe strict pull-ups are your jam, so you're gonna go a little heavier on the back squat, knowing that the strict pull-up minute's not gonna be too hard for you. So, anyway, minute one, 10 back squats. If we're doing minimal gear option, we'll do 10 dumbbell or kettlebell squats in that front rack, which are gonna be challenging as well. Um, or, if we're doing our body weight version, we're gonna do seven lunge, lunge squat. Remember, that's gonna be a lunge with the right leg, a lunge with the left leg, back up into a squat. That's one, lunge, lunge, keeping that chest up, squat in the full squat every time. It's gonna be a great variation there as well. Definitely get the thighs burning. Minute two, woo, get spicy. Three rope climbs, obviously that's where it gets possible or not. So you know I'm here at the gym testing this stuff. Um, I was not able to hold that. Went to two rope climbs on there. Three rope climbs, you know, it's gonna be very challenging, but it's definitely possible if that's one of the movements that is in your wheelhouse, right? You might be able to hold that. It's gonna be more of a muscular fatigue than a heart rate kind of thing. Um, so, let's talk about some minimal gear options. Six strict pull-ups, that's gonna be a great option there. If you have your pull-ups, but you just don't have them strict, I would say go to a band and do strict, but if not, maybe bump it up to eight or so, doing some kipping pull-ups, great variation there as well, maybe even 10. Um, and then, this is kind of neat, um, for our body weight version, we're doing 12 hollow to tuck. So hollow position to a tuck position. If you've ever been to a yoga class, think about that boat, boat pose or something like that. You guys may recognize this. But anyway, you're gonna be going hollow, tuck, one, two, three. So I'm going from a hollow position to a tuck position, back down, back up, right? So great little option there. This one is going to get your legs and core burning big time. Awesome variation there. That hollow to tuck, you're gonna feel that big time. It's gonna be really good. So, guys, possible EMOM, hey, I don't know. I would say that if you hit this with some good um, standards, good lunges, don't cheat it, don't shorten it, good deep air squats, finishing out, open hips, open knees, don't shorten it, nice hollow tuck position, I would say that's gonna be a tough, great EMOM as well. So, hope you guys have a beautiful Monday, a great start to your week, and we hope to see you on the whiteboard.